When you're within the Moreton Bay or Great Sandy Marine Parks, you need to be aware of the Marine Park Zone boundaries. These are often referred to as green zones and designated go slow areas. You can enter the Marine Park Zone, however all forms of fishing and collection are prohibited. There are further restrictions within the Conservation Park or Yellow Zones. Although fishing is allowed, there are limits on the amount of fishing gear you can use. Plan your trip before heading out on the water. Refer to official navigation charts, study the zoning maps and ensure you know how to use your GPS. To obtain the zoning maps and zone requirements, visit the Queensland Government website. Since 2010, Marine Park Zones and GOSO area boundaries have been incorporated on chart cards. If you're unsure of the age of a card or GPS plotter, contact the supplier. Your GPS plotter can show you the depth of water you're travelling through. Remember the colours on the plotter screen indicate different depths. You'll also see numbers and contour lines. Contour lines apply to the outer boundary of some go slow areas, so it's important you monitor your depth. Marine parks or green zones are generally defined with a magenta line and text. Before launching your vessel, check your GPS plotter is working. Many public boat ramps have a surveyed GPS marker that you can refer to and check for position accuracy. When out on the water, you could see yellow, white or blue buoys or large signs. These identify marine park zones, go so areas and no anchoring areas. Make sure you read the signs, refer to the zoning maps and your GPS plotter. When within a marine park zone, all fishing equipment must be stowed and secured. This means all fishing lines and crab pots must be within the vessel and inoperable. Each year there are many reports about turtles and dugong that have been struck, injured or killed by vessels. You must operate your vessel off the plane or in displacement mode when in a go-slow area. Freestyle water sports are not allowed. By following these rules, you'll help protect wildlife and their habitats. If you don't have a GPS plotter on your vessel, there are a number of navigation apps available for mobile devices. These show information in the same format as a GPS plotter. Breaking marine park zone rules or speeding in go slow areas can result in a hefty fine. The master of the vessel is responsible for ensuring everyone on board does the right thing. For more information, visit our website or contact your local Queensland Parks and Wildlife Service office.